What's going on here? What's this all about? This is YouTube, right? So what, what you're looking at in here is YouTube. That's YouTube in that camera. In that camera. And now you're, she's holding YouTube. She's holding YouTube. The internet does come in a box. Do you have your own internet at home? Yes. Yes. Jarrett, you're just back from New Zealand? I am. Three weeks? Just back from New Zealand. And now here we are, Carlsberg Company Carnival. Just before you go to Edinburgh? Yeah. yeah. See, I'm amazing yeah. research here. Yeah. You know. I really have. Let's get these anyway. Do you want some more drinks? Uh, yeah. Can I have a Diet Coke? Diet Coke? Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is really the last thing you do before you go to Edinburgh and everybody's really happy because there's no pressure and right. it's in a beautiful set. And, uh, you know, you just come in and do brilliant fun gigs in this weird setting that you would never ordinarily do gigs in. So You've taken a lot of sidesteps in comedy because yeah. from, both from TV, you're a book public, you've got a published book yeah. even, and you're doing a lot of stand-up. I see your name everywhere. Oh, well, it yeah. feels like that. You're very prolific. Uh, well, well, I suppose when you, uh, I, I just work as hard as I can, take whatever I can get. <laughs> right. No, that's definitely uh, uh, well, a, lot, a lot of the guys that you see here, like Jason, Dave, and Tommy, and all those guys, would just do the exact same thing. Like, they all just take uh, working and working and working and stuff. It does appear that the comics sit on their arses and lie around for the day dreaming of ideas. Up. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, 99% of it is travelling and go in different places. Because you can't stay in one spot and get to the same people again and again and again. So, uh, yeah, that's why this kind of Carlsberg Comedy Carnival brings in acts that people would never see otherwise. Thanks a million. Are people going to be seeing a preview of your Edinburgh shows? Are you going to be trying out some yeah. material? That's one, of, that's one of the beauties of this festival is that uh, it's, uh, nobody's trying out festivals. Nobody's trying out new shows. Right. People are doing their best to try it. Okay. So you see the best of the best here at the Carlsberg yeah. Comedy Carnival. Uh, and, you know, in that way there's no pressure. Nobody's feeling that thing of, oh, this show better be good. People will be comparing it to last year's show. You know, you come down here and uh, to the Ivy Gardens and you do, you know, 20 minutes of your best uh, in, in front of a really nice crowd. We're delighted to be here. July weekend in the Ivy Gardens. What else do you You're emceeing the first night with Maeve Higgins and Aaron Barker. Yeah. Uh, amazing comics. Two amazing comics. And then on the Saturday night, you're on the bill with Natasha Legera. Yeah, Natasha Legera. Legera is. Uh, Sorry, Natasha. I wasn't. Uh, yeah, no, she. Uh, she's somebody nobody would have heard of. Okay. But she is one of the funniest comedians I've ever seen. She is uh, from New York originally and uh, just really superb and dry wish. And, uh, if you watch Reno 911, you might recognize her from that. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's just somebody we're going to be hearing of in, in the future. There's a lot of smacks that come to uh, the uh, Ivy Gardens who nobody's heard of, but in two years' time, everybody's talking about And Bren Berry and the Aiken Promotions people are brilliant at finding foreign acts that yeah, you don't know. You put your faith in Aiken and they bring you these acts. Great, thanks very much for your time. Cheers.